Hi guys, it's your buddy Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be my uh, movie review of Logan. Finally got to go see it um, the other day. First since I had, I had to go make a video. Um, so, was it good? Yes, it was very good. Did it have its problems? Yes, it did. I'll go over that with a spoiler. So, this will have spoilers and I'm going to leave them near the other half of the video. And I'll, I'll warn you guys if you don't want no spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. Um, out of the three Wolverine movies, I would probably consider this one of the better ones. Um, does it top the first one? I, I think it probably could. It would depend on how much of a fan you are. Um, and if you can get over the flaws. Overall, I will give it at my rating a 8 out of 10 for a movie, and that's pretty good for Wolverine movie. Um, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I'd recommend go see it if you're a fan. Um, there, uh, Hugh Jackman did pretty good. Patrick Stewart did pretty good. Um, I think they did their characters a bit of justice. Since it's both of their last X Men movie, yeah, Patrick Stewart. So the other day he was going, he was done, and so did Jackman. Um, it's a good little send off. A uh, little girl that played X twenty three, she was a good actress. She played that part pretty damn well. If you like action, you like the movie. If you don't like action, you may not like it. I think it had finally we got one of the best. Wolverine rage fight scenes, or scenes I should say, out of it. So yeah, that was pretty good. The story was alright, it wasn't too bad, except for where the flaws were. So, if you're a fan, go see it. If you like, um, if I was to rate which movie like the best, it would probably go, um, this one, Logan, and then X-Men Origins Wolverine, and then the the Wolverine, um, that this the second one. I, I didn't like the, the one that's the Silver Saber. I wasn't a big fan of that one. But they kind of made this up with this with Logan, so they kind of saved themselves, kind of the way Days of Future Past kind of saved the old X-Men franchise after um, X-Men: The Last Stand. They kind of rewrote that one. Um. <clears throat> Now, now we're going to go into spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Okay, that's the way you want to stop the video if you want spoilers. Um, if you stop, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, so now on to the spoilers. Uh, the things I did not like was that they didn't quite explain... Where all the mutants went. Okay, because supposedly it's 2029, and you're down to Logan, um, Charles Xavier, and Caliban. Supposedly. There's only three mutants that you really know of. You can hear on the movie, well, let's stop talk, hearing about mutants. My God, it's been so long since we've seen them. And supposedly it's been like 20 or 25 years since the last natural born mutant was made. Now, this is something that's never fully explained. This is where I think they should have. That's what I think needed to be explained more. Okay, because if you didn't read the comic book, which I didn't really read that comic book, that particular one, but the Logan's, is that what, what happened to all the fucking mutants? Okay, was there a genetic disease that went through them all? Did they all get hunted down? It makes it sound like they were all fucking hunted down, which I find it hard to believe because there's no way you go hunt down all the fucking mutants. Now without fucking Sentinels, which they basically got rid of. Okay, you have the Reavers, which are part machine, but they would have been no. No, that they wouldn't be able to take out all the boots, especially all the ones. And you never really quite find out exactly what happened to all the X Men. Okay, you get a bit of a figure out when before Xavier's killed about why. Logan and, and Xavier have a bit of a love-hate relationship right now. 
at that point in time. And he finally understands because he couldn't remember that something happened at the X-Men mansion. Okay, well, even if you explain him, let, let's just say they're trying to say that he killed all the fucking X-Men at the X-Men mansion somehow by accident. That still wouldn't explain all the other. Not, that's not every mutant in the world. You still have other rogue agencies. Like, even with Magneto, you'd still have the um, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. You'd still have X-Force, X-Factory, even though they officially don't exist yet. You know, they're there. You would have Deadpool. Just them being killed is fucking negligible. There's still a lot of... And there'd be, like, Mystique. She's fucking still out in the world. You know she wasn't at the X-Mansion. So, there's still a lot of people out there that would... Well, I mean, you could say Magneto's dead from natural age, but... Like I said, you just didn't explain that. That's what I wanted more explain on. Then, because all the new mutants I got are all genetically made. It just doesn't make sense. But I guess you could wrap it all up. But you could wrap it all up quicker if you gave it a little legitimate of a reason. That was my, one of my biggest major gripes. Um... Of the movie. Um, the other one was that they didn't quite really super explain why Logan was dying all of a sudden. He says he always know he knew why he was dying. He's trying. He they tried to blame the adamantium. Okay, that's kind of a cop out as well. Um. Because they never, because they didn't say it was breaking off and poisoning him. Because his claws always looked fully functional. If you want to say something's fucking poisoning him because it's disintegrating, you should have made the claws look kind of disintegratory when he would extend them. I mean, besides them getting caught, I mean, the aging effects and the way they treated it was pretty good. I I just wanted to make a bit more sense. That that that's really my only real big complaint was about those two things. Um, other than that, it's a pretty good movie. Um, the only other thing I would have to say, maybe my third complaint, is when, okay, you already should know by now if you're paying attention to the interviews and all that, you already find out that Xavier dies and so does Logan and I mean, that, that we knew that was coming. You knew for sure Logan was dying because that's part of the plot point. The way he, they killed him, man, they, they could have done better. The comic book, the part I know about how he died in the comic book was way better. Um, it would have been way fucking interesting. And the way Xavier died, okay, I can understand. Now, that, that, that kind of made sense. Um, the other thing is, why wouldn't you take, it would have made more sense for Logan, even though he's dying. Run with the kids to cross into Canada and get asylum, if possible, and just to uh, kill them all. Because you knew in the beginning when they killed off the clone of, of Logan, they were going to use an adamant mansion bullet. I mean, it, if you were smart enough to figure, without even knowing the thing, I figured that I didn't even know the script, and I knew that's probably what they were going to use once they revealed the clone. Okay, they're going to use the adamant bullet and probably to kill him. And they didn't. Um. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, this was one part I didn't like, but I still liked the movie. I thought it was pretty good. With the, I mean, I, I can look past those flaws. Looking past those flaws, it's a good movie, and compared to some, especially against um, Wolf, the second Wolverine movie, that one was just no. I, I I was not a big fan of that one. So Logan was good. That's the good points of it was that that all the action that you got some of the best action in. It since the very first movie. Well, I think it was better because they didn't hold back. I mean, you got him cutting off limbs, stabbing people straight in the head with no remorse. You know, basically Wolverine not holding back. And that's what was good. You get to see Wolverine pretty much as potential, even though he's fucking dying. Um, God, excellent. So you could have had a... Whether they will do it or not, you, can, you could have... See, that's the best thing when they locked themselves into that No More Mutant story, is that you could have had X-23 take over for Wolverine. You could have made an X-Men of the future. You know, like Generation Next, or Gen X-Men Generation. Because, god damn, she was good. She, she was good at acting. She was good at the action roles. 
X-23 is pretty good. I mean, I don't know a lot about the character, um, because I knew her when they, she first came out in the comics. In the first one, and I've seen her in some of the animated shows. She's, it's pretty good. Um, because she was basically meant to replace Wolverine in some places. And she's pretty good. Um, of course, they could probably make it to where the kid that escaped at the end of the kid could form a new X-Men. Because they all had some good powers. Um, but we don't know that. Probably they, knowing the studio, they'll probably fuck it up and not even do it. But hey, we could always hope. Um, so, that's my movie review. I like it. Go see it. I don't think you'll be disappointed with it. If you liked the first Logan movie, if you liked Days of Future Past, you'll like this one. Um, especially if you like action. Takes a little, you got action in the beginning and it kind of lulls for like about five, ten minutes and then you're back into um, some good action. Alright? As always, you guys, go down below, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care. And I'll see you all next time.